last week, Allison talked about how the sacraments are a gift from the Lord. This week, we're going to start going into the sacraments of initiation, starting with baptism and how baptism heals wounds of rejection. It's really hard to think about that because we don't remember most of our baptisms because we were babies when it happened. But this is the moment where God tells us that we're his sons and daughters. He adopts us into his family. Um, in scripture, we actually can find that in Ephesians uh, 1, 5. It says, in love, the Lord destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will. Adoption? <laughs> Okay, that can be really weird. But if we go back into Jesus's times, we find out that adoption is actually a really big deal. Um, in Jesus's time, if you had a child who had a disability or, or didn't have the gender that you liked or, I don't know, screamed too much, <laughs> you could just leave that child anywhere and it wouldn't matter. Um, so many times those families could, those kids could feel like, wow, I am rejected. My own family didn't want me. <laughs> But also in those times, if you chose to adopt a child, what you're saying is, I know everything about them, and yet I still choose them to be a part of my family. This is why adoption is such a big deal. The Lord is saying, I know everything about you. I know everything you will do and everything you have done, and I still choose you. I want you to be a part of my family. And this is something that should be celebrated. So I I really want to, to challenge you guys As a family, put your baptism dates in the calendar. Make it something special. Allow them to know that your children, you yourself, are God's first. You're his children. You are his sons and daughters first. And allow that to let us know that we are chosen, that we are loved, that we are meant to be one with God. Thanks so much and have a great week. (music) 